audience, I wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. One, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's son Pax, 20, reportedly totaled his Tesla. Two months before near fatal e bike crash, Pax Jolie, the 20 year old son of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, has been involved in multiple accidents recently. Two months before a serious e bike crash in late July, he wrecked his Tesla by colliding with a box truck in Hollywood though he was unharmed and not under the influence. Following the e-bike incident, where he suffered significant injuries and was not wearing a helmet, he has been recovering with his mother by his side. Concerns have been raised by friends about his reckless behavior, as he has a history of vehicle-related incidents. Despite California laws requiring helmet use for riders under 18, it is unclear if the e-bike he was riding necessitated a helmet. 2. Strictly's cast and crew are furious that Algis Skorjanec has returned to the show, amid claims he was involved in a shocking altercation with a female dancer before his 2022 exit the return of professional dancer Algis Skorjanec to Strictly Come Dancing has sparked outrage among the cast and crew due to his past involvement in a serious altercation with a female dancer during the 2022 live tour. Reports suggest that Algis, who left the show two years ago, was involved in a drunken incident that made the female dancer feel uncomfortable. Despite the BBC denying any official complaints and stating that Algis left voluntarily, Many crew members are reportedly baffled by his return, especially amid ongoing scandals involving other male professionals on the show. Recent controversies include allegations of abusive behavior by Giovanni Pernis, which led to his suspension, and Graziano Di Prima's sacking for inappropriate conduct. Additionally, a female dancer has been accused of verbally berating her male partner. Amid these issues, Algis's return has been met with skepticism, as some staff recall his previous aggressive behavior. Algis's representatives maintain that he respects everyone he works with and that he left the show on his own terms. The BBC has not commented further on the situation. 3. Taylor Swift dazzles in white dress as she and dapper Travis Kelsey attend model Karen Elson's wedding at Electric Lady Studios in NYC. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey attended model Karen Elson's wedding to Lee Foster at Electric Lady Studios in New York City. Showcasing their stylish outfits, Swift wore a cream Zimmerman dress with floral patterns, while Kelsey looked sharp in a Vivian Westwood ensemble. The couple, who recently enjoyed a pizza date night, arrived in New York after Kelsey's NFL game. Swift has a history with the studio, having recorded several albums there. The wedding took place on the rooftop. With Elson's daughter as the only bridesmaid, the couple has been dating for about a year, and Swift is expected to attend more Chiefs games as her touring schedule allows. 4. Nicole Kidman reveals her beloved mother Janelle died just hours before she was awarded Best Actress for her role in Baby Girl at the Venice Film Festival Nicole Kidman announced the death of her mother, Janelle, at the age of 83, just hours before she was awarded Best Actress for her role in Baby Girl at the Venice Film Festival. Unable to attend the ceremony, Kidman's director, Helena Rhine, Read a heartfelt statement from her, expressing shock and dedicating the award to her mother, who had significantly influenced her life. In a previous interview, Kidman reflected on her mother's health and their close relationship, describing the privilege of seeing the world through her mother's eyes.
In Baby Girl, Kidman plays a high-powered executive involved in a complex relationship with her younger intern, exploring themes of desire, power, and consent. She described the filming process as vulnerable and intimate, emphasizing the importance of a supportive environment. The film, which includes explicit scenes, aims to portray female desire without the typical consequences seen in past erotic dramas. Kidman expressed her apprehension about the film's reception, acknowledging the emotional challenges of her role. Five. Madonna's daughter Lords Leon shows off her glamorous figure in racy red mini dress while stepping out with dad Carlos Leon during NYFW Lords Leon, Madonna's daughter. Made a stylish appearance with her father, Carlos Leon, during New York Fashion Week. The 27-year-old model wore a striking red mini dress paired with tall socks and Air Jordan sneakers. Complemented by a Louis Vuitton handbag, their outing followed Madonna's bold fashion statement in a sheer catsuit. Lords, who has previously modeled for David Coma, shared that she often borrows from her mother's wardrobe, although Madonna now locks her closet. She expressed her desire to have more creative control in her modeling career and emphasized the importance of models being seen as personalities and artists rather than just clothing displays. 6. Sienna Miller goes brawless in a racy sheer white jumpsuit as she joins glamorous Abby Lee and director Kevin Costner at the premiere of Horizon. An American Saga Chapter 2 on final day of Venice Film Festival after the first movie flop Sienna Miller, Abby Lee, and Kevin Costner shared laughs on the red carpet at the premiere of Horizon. An American Saga, Chapter 2 inches during the final day of the Venice Film Festival. Directed and produced by Costner, who also stars alongside Miller and others. The film follows a poorly received first installment that struggled at the box office, leading to an indefinite delay for Chapter 2's release. At the event, Sienna wore a daring see-through jumpsuit, while Abby dazzled in a sheer lace gown. Costner looked sharp in a gray suit. The Venice Film Festival showcased over 20 films, starting with Angelina Jolie's Maria. The Horizon series chronicles the American West's expansion and settlement during the Civil War era, with a third film already in production. Despite receiving a standing ovation at Cannes, the first chapter faced harsh criticism and a low Rotten Tomatoes score. Costner financed the project himself, investing $38 million and taking out a loan to bring his vision to life after decades of effort. He plans to complete a total of four films in the series, marking his fourth directorial effort following notable successes like Dances with Wolves. 7. Saucy Secrets, I'm a Divorced Mom Seeing a 27-Year-Old Bloke and It's the Best Ever. Except for one thing the text consists of three letters from individuals seeking advice on their dating and relationship issues along with responses from a columnist named Jana. 1. Letter 1 asterisk asterisk. A 46-year-old divorced mother shares her experience of dating younger men, particularly a 27-year-old, which has led to a fulfilling relationship. However, she feels insulted by friends calling her a cougar, which she perceives as derogatory. Jana reassures her that dating younger men is acceptable and encourages her to focus on her happiness rather than the opinions of others. 2. Letter 2 asterisk asterisk. An anonymous writer is concerned about their girlfriend snooping through their phone and finding embarrassing search history. Jana suggests using a new iPhone feature that allows users to lock and hide apps, providing a way to keep their private searches secure. 3. Letter 3 asterisk asterisk. Sasha is confused about her ex-boyfriend who contacts her when drunk, expressing regret and wanting to reconnect, despite having ended the relationship. Jana advises Sasha to set boundaries. Stop responding to his advances, and focus on moving on, 
emphasizing that she deserves someone who truly values her. Overall, Jana's responses encourage self-empowerment, setting boundaries, and prioritizing personal happiness in relationships. 8. Matt LeBlanc, 57, looks almost unrecognizable during rare outing in LA. Matt LeBlanc, 57, made a rare public appearance in Los Angeles. Visiting a car showroom in Van Nuys. Dressed casually in a black t-shirt, dark jeans and a navy baseball cap. He looked different from his days as Joey Tribbiani on Friends. This outing was his first since December, following the death of his co-star Matthew Perry in October due to a ketamine overdose. LeBlanc expressed his grief on Instagram, sharing fond memories of Perry and emphasizing their close friendship. The remaining Friends cast released a joint statement mourning Perry's loss. Describing their bond as familial. Recently, LeBlanc received a birthday tribute from Jennifer Aniston, who humorously acknowledged his love for doing nothing.